Japan leads the world in the manufacture of industrial robots. Robots are becoming a common sight in everyday life. And now we see robots playing a role in education too. Japanese children attend elementary school from ages 6 to 12. These 11 and 12 year olds are learning how to operate robots in a class designed to develop their creative thinking. They're learning lessons here that will be important in later life. Trying to make their robot move the way they want, they understand the function of trial and error and how failures can lead you to finding better solutions. The class splits into two-person teams, each with a pre-assembled wheeled robot. Today's challenge is to get the robots to maneuver this obstacle course from Earth to Mars. There's no direct route. Each team must program their robot to make it complete the course by itself. The simple code consists of a series of commands, such as advance for three seconds, turn 90 degrees left, turn again, and so on. A robot can take any route on its way to Mars. The point is to overcome all the obstacles on the way. Go on, you can do it! This team's robot was doing so well until it hit the wall. The reason was the robot was changing direction too early. They fixed the problem by adjusting the program to make the robot go straight for a little longer. Success! This time they smoothly make it all the way to Mars. I'm so happy we could do it. We uh, kept getting it wrong, but it was fun, solving the puzzle. Such challenges teach the children how to solve problems and help them acquire the mental tools to tackle more difficult tasks. But the great thing about using robots is that it makes the experience so much fun. They always want to learn more. Many children are inspired by these programming lessons to go on and learn how to actually make their own robots. A robot convention is coming up and everyone is putting the last touches to their entries. The best thing is when a robot you built yourself from scratch performs perfectly. 600 young inventors from all over Japan have brought entries to this robot convention. Entrants aged from 5 to 15 will be showing off the results of their imaginations. This robot imitates the movements of an insect. It's much more fun when you're building something that's your own idea. There's even a robot for brushing teeth. And this robot spins yarn into a bracelet. I tried braiding it by hand and realised how much hard work it took. So I thought it would be fun to make a robot to do it instead. That was the inspiration for this robot. Next up is a fire truck. When the front of the truck comes into contact with the wall, the ladder automatically extends and rises up to rescue the trapped victim. We saved him! The reason I designed this robot is that we need robots to operate in places that are too dangerous for people to go. I'm so happy everything went well on stage. Exposure to robots from an early age nurtures the kind of creative thinking children will need throughout their lives. <laughs>